Hello and welcome to Droix. On today's video... What the f Oh, fuck me. <sighs> we are using a HP Reverb G2 headset with controllers, which is running through a GeForce 3070 Ti eGPU, which in turn is connected to a 1x Player Mini. While it is possible to run some VR games using the integrated GPU, in this video we are using the eGPU as we were waiting on an adapter which did not arrive in time. If you want to see another video using the iGPU, let us know in the comments and we will make a more in-depth video. We are starting off with Super Hot VR, which is great fun to play. Chris wants to show off his matrix skills. Rate them out of 10 in the comments please. Super Art VR is perfect for VR as you get to use the full range of controls and movement to play the game. This should be playable on the Mini with just the integrated GPU. Next we checked out Doom VFR. This is the training level as it was now dark outside. Chris got shook by the jump scare and wouldn't play the main game. It plays very well with the eGPU but I think this one might struggle on the integrated. Let us know if you want us to try it and we can also try scaring Chris some more. Pavlov is an online VR shooter that plays pretty well. We are checking out the training map as it gave us a chance to test the movement and shooting accuracy without being killed by campers. This game might work on the Mini's integrated GPU. I must break you. Free Rise to Glory is a very playable VR boxing game. We had some issues with the controllers at first, but other than that, it worked great. <laughs> this game may also work on integrated GPU, which would be pretty cool. And last but not least, we tried Half Life Alex, which is the VR chapter of the Half Life series. It plays amazingly well and everything can be interacted with which provides one of the best showcases for VR gaming. It's unlikely this will work on an iGPU but we can give it a try. Whilst we watch Chris play with his gun, do let us know if you would like to see some more VR tests with the One X Player Mini's integrated GPU. We might also check out the performance on the Ioneo Next as well. We will also try a few more games which stand a better chance of working on their respective iGPUs. That wraps up this brief VR video, we hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already so you won't miss out on our next video. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back soon.